continuing to address more questions here from Yosemite via Instagram DM. Uh, hey man, quick question. Why are the clinical mastery series forms for 2CK easier compared to UWorld? I know some of you guys watching this clip are studying for step one. Uh, I will also talk about how uh, your perception can be that the NBME exams for both step one and step two are easier than UWorld. Okay, so I will address that in this clip. Uh, student goes on to say, I'm getting around 10 wrong per 50 questions on most of the clinical mastery series forms. On UWorld, which is, of course, 80% uh, because they're 50 question forms. On UWorld, I was only scoring 63%. Okay, so student is asking why the NBME material the clinical ma and the clinical mastery series material, his scores are higher compared to UWorld, okay? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is why one's scores might be higher on the NBME content uh, for step one and step two, as well as the clinical master series questions for step two, as compared to UWorld. Okay? And I have made prior clips on this. I've talked about how the scales on the NBME content are a lot steeper than UWorld. Okay? So, for example, if you are scoring over 80% correct on UWorld, you are poised to score high 250s, 260 plus on your USMLE. Whereas if you take free 120 or you do the NBME exams, you have to pretty much get mid 90s percent correct in order to be looking at 260s on the real deal. The scales are different. And why is that the case? I'll tell you why. It's because UWorld isn't the fucking exam. And I say it like that because people tend to very deeply adhere to this notion that UWorld is most similar to the real exam when it's not. I've made plenty of clips on this. I've talked about how the real US simile and the NBME questions are exactly the same. Okay, So when you go into the real deal, it'll be a hypothetical NBME 31, 32 for step one, and it'll be a hypothetical NBME 12, 13 for step two. The real US simile is not UWorld. The questions are different, okay? Let that actually be objective evidence for why the questions are different and how the questions are different, okay? That's actually, this is the first time I'm thinking about this and articulating it at the same time, which is very fucking interesting, which is, the fact that the scales are so disparate illustrates in and of itself that the real U.S. Simile and UWorld are not the same, okay? So when you go into the U.S. Simile, your performance on the exam is going to mirror the NBMEs and the Clinical Mastery Series questions. If you come out of the real deal and you have, let's say, a 265 on the step one, you will have gotten at least 96% probably, like literally aced it. I mean, a 265 is a very high fucking score, but you will have had to pretty much ace it, get a 95, 96 plus percent on the real deal in order to achieve that score. Whereas in you world, maybe you were getting 83, 84 percent correct. OK, obviously, students are going to have variation, but I'm just speaking in broad terms. So the scales are different. OK, we can make this an extended clip. I know you guys don't want to see the superfluousness. So, you know, the deal, I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.